All right, chapter 24, locomotive and other rolling, st uh, rolling stock. Locomotive is a powerhouse mount with a frame produced with the motive power need with the traction on relay. The three distinct locomotives on the railways, each drawn with the power with different energy sources. The steam locomotive motive power with a steam generator pressure vessel called with the boiler with thermal energy fuel with converted with a mechanical engineering motion. And diesel locomotive with the motive power is an internal combustion engine using a high-speed di diesel oil with a source of energy. Electrical locomotive derives its power from an electrical conductor running from along the track. Type of traction. There are three types of traction on the Indian Railway. Steam traction by steam locomotive, diesel uh, traction by diesel locomotive, electrical traction by electrical locomotives. Diesel electric locomotives are comparatively more efficient than the steam locomotives. They have greater handling capacity, permit better acceleration, deceleration, capable of carrying heavier loads at high speeds. In view of the fact that diesel and electrical locomotives are re fast replacing steam locomotives and can be seen in Table 21. One. It may be noted that um, though that total holding the locomotive of the Indian Railways have been decreasing since the last 25 years, average traction the effort has increased progressively due to the provision of more efficient diesel as well as the electrical traction and steam tra uh, place of steam traction. Nomenclature of steam locomotives. The steam locomotive is normally identified arrangement of the wheels. This locomotive generally has two types of wheels. Driving wheels. The wheels are coupled with each other and directly connected with the pistons. The higher diameter of the driven wheels. Driving wheel, the greater the traction power, the lower the speed. Idle wheel, the wheel, wheel the, um, distribute the load of the locomotive on the track. Locomotive normally designated with three digit code. The first digit indica indicates the normal in um, idle window wheels of the third front. Middle digit indicates the number of wheel driving wheels. And the last digit notes the idle wheels that come after the driving wheels. Locomotive with nomenclature 462 indicates the four idle wheels for the front and six wheel driving wheels, two wheels. Idle wheels are the driving wheels. Then it may be noted that the middle the digit, including the driving of a couple of wheels, is most important. On Capacity of the locomotive is decided by the number of the driving wheels. 24 3 classification of locomotive. The first locomotive hauled with the first India with the, in 1853 with the Bombay, with the Menage Bombay, and the uh, Mombi to Thane, imported with the England, with the name of the Lord of the Falcon, uh, Falcon locomotive, with the Fal locomotive with a 240 type. Since the more than 5,000 types of steam locomotives have been imported with the manufacture of different gauges, Indian Railway standard classification various locomotives in the year 1929, locomotives classified in two digits as in Table 24 2. W, X, and Y means broad gauge A and L, A or L light passenger. Y is meter gauge B and B plus, B or P standard gauge. Z is narrow gauge. C, hat passenger. D and G standard goods. E, heavy goods. M, mixed goods. And passengers. U, M, T, W, shuttling and shunning. In the case of diesel electrical locomotives, one additional uh, d alphabet D, A, and C is indicated with the diesel electrical electrical engines respectively. Thus, Y and P indicates the steam locomotive over the meter gauge standard passenger train. Um, w A G indicates the broad gauge of electrical motors used to haul the good trains. The table 24.3 and unless the same features some of the typical locomotives in used in Indian railways. Um, Steam locomotive figure shows without the show sketch of the typical steam locomotive. There is part of the steam locomotive described in the following details. Right, you have your cylinder piston, piston rod, boogie carrier, idle wheel, steam engine, boiler connection rod, counterweights, coupling rod, deriving couple of wheels, crank pin coupling rod, firebox, rear idle wheel, tender wheel. The boiler, a boiler consists of firebox, barrel, smoke box, coals, fire with the box, the wheel on um, where the water is converted into the steam, the smoke with the gas in the firebox passes through the smoke pipe, finally get discharged through the chimney, the chemical energy in the fuel is converted into the heat energy of steam. Your steam engine, steam engine consists of a cylinder piston with the moving of the parts that converge with the heat energy, the steam, and the rotary and energy in the following manner. The steam has the boiler first emitted with the cylinder fitted with the valve. The valve is operated with mechanically. Steam enters the cylinder in one side beyond the, behind the steam piston and fitted with the inside of the cylinder. The piston can move with the from back, forward, backward. Steam exerts the fire, several, um, forces several tons in piston. The force is transmitted with the crank pin fitted with the out of the center of each wheel. Away from the center of the wheel through the rods, other connections, linear motion of the pin as then is converted with the rotary motion of the wheel starting the rotating. The wheel and frame locomotive is an ideal with the wheel load with the um, wells wheel load. The frame is supported on the wheels that carries the boiler and also holds the steam engine and other parts of the locomotive. The tender is provided with behind the locomotive to store fuel. The tender is a type of the mini wagon and supported with the wheels and couple of the main locomotives. General Indian railways have phased out all steam locomotives. No steam locomotive is presently being manufactured by using uh, on, using on the railways. 24.32 diesel locomotives. The diesel locomotive work for the principal for the diesel engine. Even the diesel fuel combustion takes place from the cylinder. The air inside with the cylinder compresses the raising the temperature over the air. The fuel is injected inside the cylinder, causing spontaneous combustion. The diesel engine must compromise four-stroke um, cycle with the cause of the section. 
suction, compression, injection, a suction, compressed ignition, exhaust, the injury can generate the utilize of the driving of the locomotive, the horsepower generated by the diesel locomotive is transmitted into the wheels of the following manner. Mechanical and transmission can create the case for the conventional diesel locomotives, hydraulic transmission case of the diesel, hydraulic locomotives, electrical transmission in case of the diesel electrical locomotives. These electrical motors have been quite popular, more economical operation, high effects for the efforts, even low speed. Although the steam mainline, broad gauge, and marriage gauge locomotives, the Indian Railways function to be with the electrical transmission, the different type of these electric these locomotives used in the Indian Railways are as follows broad gauge WBM1, WBM2, WBM3, meter gauge YDM1, YDM2, YDM3. Indian Railways have, however, the recently standard of the WBM2 diesel, loco diesel locomotive with the broad gauge YM YDM4 with the diesel locomotive with the meter gauge, but the locomotive the, of our all American locomotive company design currently being manufactured by the DLW Varonies. The WMD2 locomotives are horsepower twin 600 capable of hauling 36,000 tons. Um, 3,600 tons of the train load at a speed of 72 miles an hour, meter, 72 meters an hour, on the level track of the maximum speed of the chief. The using the locomotive at 120 kilometers an hour. The very latest um, series of the motor of the WG lo two locomotives for the good traffic. WP one, WP two. Locomotives of the passenger traffic. The lo locomotives have the greater horsepower, serious performance ca capabilities. All right, 2433 electrical locomotives. An electrical locomotive with the broad, with the broad, is moving this broad by the means of the electrical motor, but the motor draws power with the overhead distribution system through the panographs. Joint work frameworks conveying the current, um, current with the electrical train from the overhead wires. The amount of the locomotive, they are different system with the feed with the power of the locomotive named 1500 volt DC, 700 volt DC, 25 kilovolt AC, single phase through AC through and AC three phase. Most economical way of transmitting, distributing power with the directly transmitting of the AC power to industrial frequency whereas the motors must be suited electrical traction or DC series motors. Indian Railway has locomotives that are both um, best both system locomotives. The DC series motors collect about 25 kilovolts in a single phase of industrial frequency of 50 cycle of voltage. A step down and lower voltage means the transformer presents in the in inside locomotive converted with 1500 volts or 700 volts. AC to DC means the silicone rectifiers and the power is then fed to the DC series motors inside of the electrical locomotive. The system has been adopted in India in 1957 and is based on the system of the adopted by the French National Railways. All right, one is your headlight, two is the inner air filter air light, three is the um, starting fuse. Battery switch, five, four is the hand rail, five is the cooling system, air lamp, six is the radiator fan excess, seven is the coupler E and F type, eight is the sandbox, nine is the jacking pads, ten is the wheels, eleven is the fuel tank, twelve is the compressed air system with the main reserve, is the thirteen major battery box, fourteen truck, three waxel with two motors, HTSC type quantity, two underframe, dyna fifteen dynamic braking grid, sixteen dynamic braking fan, seven, 18, 18 front mechanical part motor, 19 motor, 20 engine part, 21 um, trans part, class WMP4 type AA1 gauge 6, 1,676 millimeters service passenger. All right, your electric locomotive WAG three, um, dri one driver's desk, two driver's seat, three pneumatic control compartment, four traction motor blower, four uh, five air compressor, six pneumatic equipment cubicle, seven exhauster, eight braking resistor set, nine battery, ten main transformer, eleven silicone rectifier block, um, twelve electrical equipment compartment, thirteen braking siphon transformer, fourteen auxiliary electrical equipment compartment. All right, early in Indian Railways had electrical traction system with worked up to 1,500 volts of DC and 3,000 volts AC. The uh, electrification of the locomotive in Indian it was first taken under between 1925 and 1932 at 150 volts DC. consisted of a 304-route three kilometer of the Central Railways to Bombay, VT, and India, or to Ingapur, or Pune in the 62 with the Western Railways between Churchgate and River, 32 gate and mile kilometers for the Madras Beach and Tamara, Tamaria. The section of 1500 volt DC was the power of the locomotive addition of 142 route kilometer for the Cal Calcutta electrified in, uh, using 3000 volt DC system in 1954 and 1950 through 1958, which subsequently became converted in 24 wide kilovolt AC system. The details of four different types of electrical motors are used in Indian railways are given in table 24.4. Broad gauge AC WAM WAM 1234 WAP 1. WAG one two three four five WCM one two three four WCG one um, broad gauge AC broad gauge AC DC WCG two WCM one meter gauge AC DC M one. 
Alright, when WAM 1, WAG, WAG 1, WAG 3, WAG 4 locomotives are based on the European design, therefore the WAM 1, WAM 4, WAP 1, WCM 1, WAG 5 locomotives have been designed in India with a six wheel arrangement of the boogies, which is similar to the diesel of the WM, w, WDM. Um, Locomotives. Some of the locomotives are capable of hauling last type of the box, and the end wagons air brake and arrangement. Maybe mention that the WAP one passenger locomotive has a vacuum as well. The air brake system is designed to run at speeds of 130 kilometers an hour. Um, the Rajahar Express of the Delhi Hurao route is held by such a locomotive. The horsepower, weight, and maximum service speed is different from the type of locomotives in Table 24 or 5. Alright, 24-4, preventive maintenance for the locomotive. The efficient operation railway depends on the reliability and availability of the locomotive. The property by other efficient maintenance of the locomotive is based with the economical training operation. Maintenance practices evolve with the basic principle and the necessary attention should be paid in all, to all the, all assets before deterioration um, through the wear and the tear of the banks. The prone failure of the known preventive maintenance. The preventive maintenance of the locomotive can be broadly classified in under two heads, namely periodical overhead and schedule repair. Steam and diesel locomotives. Prescribed life of the steam and diesel locomotives is 40 to 36 years, perspective of the view of the long life, long, long lifespan, imperative that both the assets and the properly periodically maintained ensure that there is no deterioration in the condition. Preventive maintenance of steam and diesel locomotives is done in the following manner. Periodic overhaul. Periodic overhaul, or POH, of the locomotives undertaken the rear way repair shop, the frequency of periodic overhaul and steam diesel locomotives is for the follow diesel locomotive six years or every eight tenths of a million kilo, um, eight, uh, 0 0.8 million kilometers of broad gauge 0 0.6 million kilometers meter gauge steam locomotives passengers 0 0.3 to the 0 0.35 million kilometers good goods 0 0.2 to 0 0.25 million kilometers inferior service five years or about two 0 0.2 million kilometers the, during the um, periodic overhaul, the locomotive is completely stripped and all the parts and components are required and replaced as the condition warrants. After the periodic overhaul, the locomotives are in almost new condition. All right, scheduled shed maintenance. Various examination schedules have been drawn up as part of the preventive maintenance of the specific component of the part of the locomotives may be given the need based attention interval. The examination schedule lists all the various aspects should be taken with the time of the maintenance of the independent on the new on the wear and the tear of the component. The total number of the kilometers should have been covered but these examination can be carried out all that has been specified. Steam locomotives. The table 246 outlined the various types of schedules approved with the maintenance of steam locomotives based on the total distance of the kilometers covered by the locomotive. Schedule one type of schedule will cover one kilometers by the WPM G sixteen um, YP and YG nineteen nine fifty to eleven thousand. Schedule two every month. Schedule three twenty four thousand to twenty thousand. Uh, schedule four forty eight thousand to four thousand forty thousand. Diesel locomotives trip the weekly and scheduled front, um, front, front, fortnightly schedule the monthly the three month schedule the six month schedule yearly schedule the three year schedule the six year schedule have been drafted in diesel locomotives. The preventing maintenance schedules have been worked out with the basis of the experience inverted with the investigation causing the lead of the breakdown locomotive compared to the steam locomotive. The diesel traction unit is far more complex, usually incorporating the indirect current control system, which is much more elaborate than ancillary equipment. As a result, with the greater complexity, it's more reliable to render the unsurpassable value of the particular component. Therefore, in order to ensure the high standard of reliability, various schedules have been installed with the inspection maintenance, the service to give the minor schedule. Trip of the fortnight, monthly, etc. Um, involved with the routine inspection, minor attention, and likely it takes about 4 to 12 hours. The major schedules take a longer time, lasting about 6 to 14 days since they require repair and replacement of the major components. 24 4 2 electrical locomotive. The schedule for the inspection check given in the table 24 7 is generally filed with the Indian Railways to ensure proper maintenance of electrical locomotives. Weekly trip within 1500 kilometers. Tri code trip 1 hour. Weekly trip inspection. 15 days fortnightly. 1 to 2 hours fortnightly inspection. Monthly IA code 2 hours incidental, incidental inspection. 2 months IB 8 hours complete partial inspection. 4, hour, four months IC 8 hours complete inspection. Every third IC AOH 16 hours annual inspection. At every 300,000 kilometers or after three years the IDH 15 days general inspection intermediate overhauling after 600,000 kilometers or after six years with periodic overhaul 30 days through the overhauling or periodic overhaul 
or the frequency during the variation schedules have been defined by taking the several, several fear of failure point on locomotive the existing and dangerous component for the atmospheric level, the heat of the dust in the country, and the conservation compared with the same diesel locomotives. Electrical locomotives include more contact or relays, auxiliary equipment, and electrical quantity for the change of the condition of the locomotive are not physically visible. Therefore, it is essential to check the equipment and contact or for the relay periodically assertion of the condition of the various equipment without making much of the dismantle. And most of the equipment gets inspected during the fourth month of inspection. Those of these equipment are and so, uh, excluded for the annual inspection during the such inspection, the equipment are disconnected with mechanical pictures, uh, pictures examined with the strips and cleaned and with worn out damaged parts are replaced and reconnected. Trips and weekly, four and nightly inspections are conducted. Outstation running shed with all the other scheduled inspections of the um, periodic overhaul are carried out on the sheds. Periodic overhaul is carried out in the workshop. All right, 21.5, rolling stock. Rolling stock includes locomotive, locomo uh, local, includes locomotive, passenger coaches, good wagons, and all other types of coaches, wagons, such as electrical, multiple units, diesel, railway cars, special wagons, or uh, such as box wagons, section given in such some of the details, passenger coach, and good, good wagons. All right, 24.5, one coach says stocking. The different type of the passenger coach include the electrical, multiple units that are part of the suburban train, conventional coaches, such as class two, uh, two class, class one, Class two sleepers, all AC th three terrier to AC two terrier, one class one AC one class coaches. 1994, the Indian Railways had stacked about 3,600 3, EMU coaches and 330,000 conventional coaches capable of carrying about a total of 3.7 million passengers. The passenger coaches have three basic structural design: integral coach built with the integral co coach factory, bar, um, integral coach with the um, is built in Bangalore, no, 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 non integral wooden body coaches made in accordance with the Indian Railway. Way standards design. Some of the salient features of three types of the coaches are given in Table 24D8. Silent features of the IRS, ICF, B, and MEL coaches. Type of the bottle, body, IRS wooden, uh, ICF, light metal, B, Ill, light metal type, the structure, wooden body resistant, I grid, steel underframe IRS. ICF all metal welded integral coach and tablet construction to the BMEL, similar to the ICF coach, with except for the here is load with the taken taken by the floor. Coach overall dimensions: um, IRS three for twenty three hundred twenty five millimeters in width and through twenty one thousand zero thirty one millimeters length, thirty eight three thousand eight hundred eighty six height. Damage during collision and derailment extensive damage. ICF 3,250 millimeters width, 21,337 millimeters length, 3,886 overall height. Less damage may be covered by the presence of the anti-telescope telescopic structure on the end of the walls that absorb shock. The BML 3,250 millimeters, 21,336 millimeters length, 3,926 height. Same as ICF. All right, twenty-four, five, two, good, good wagons. Good wagons are primarily meant for the good, uh, carry good traffic with the Indian railways. Present the stack with about tw um, twenty-nine, zero point two nine million in goods. Um, wagon hauling capacity of about ten million tons. Good wagons most consistently covered and open with the wagon special wagons such as box wagons carrying coal, other bulk traffic. Until the Middle East last century, the periodically all goods and traffic the transport with general purpose of wagons covered with on the high side on the open side. Low side wagon, the standard wagon with the broad gauge of four wheelers within 21.19 tons haul capacity. The standard wagon was a meter gauge weight, 5.69 tons held the capacity of about 18.69 tons goods. Recently, a new bogey has been designed to pull the surface, which lay the emphasis on higher load payload, provision facility loading, and unloading specific type of the traffic. This includes box, BCX, Bob X, Boy, Box XN, CRT, and wagons. This has been decided that the bogey wagons will be put in the surface of the railway. Ways, as all the four wheel wagons are not available on the unit with the president with the context bullet and bulk, bulk move with the commodities above the mention of the classification wagon. B stands on the bogey wagon, C stands on the discharge, O stands for the open wagon, X stands for the high side with the center of the high discharge, Y stands for the low side of walls, N is used for air brakes, C is covered for the wagon, R is for the rail carrying wagon, T is for the transition coupler, and B indicates sometimes um, omitted all the new wagons of bogey stock. All right, 24-6 brake system. Brake and low are applied with the top of the move of the train. There are basically two types of the brakes. Compressed air brakes. The brake system is made with the brake cylinder compression. Containing the piston lever, the arrangement provided with the under the each of the vehicle brake piping running is provided with each of the vehicle in which can with the main reserve of the locomotive. The reserve is provided with the part of the locomotive where the compressed air is fed into the air pump. 
and with the compressed air is emitted by the system in the movement of the piston with the application of the air brakes. The 24 force of the compressed air brake system. Compressed air goes into the brake cylinder, the piston, then travels down the lever to the brakes. Vacuum brakes. The equipment consists of a vacuum brake cylinder piston level. The arrangement provided with each of the vehicles. The cylinder is connected with the train pipe running from one end of the vehicle to the other. Direct emission valve with each of the coach with its view for the applying of the brakes in case the emergency of vacuum brake about 20 inches of mercury maintained in the vacuum cylinder in one position inside of the piston and operate the brakes system vacuum vacuum insert, exerts the effective working pressure on about 10 piston PSI pistons within the brake supply with the vacuum cylinder is designed to supply the required amount of the brake piston brake power to the wheels maximum using the vacuum. Or this shows the 24 or 5 shows the vacuum braking system tailpipe going down in the direct administration valve going into the brake cylinder piston moving the levers in the vacuum brake system. All right, vacuum brakes versus the air brakes. It becomes necessary to run along heavier and faster trains on account of the consistent and uh, constant increase of the traffic of the railways. Therefore, the weather, the prevalent automatic vacuum brakes in the uh, system has continued with that has been improved. The feasibility of the air brake system has explored fundamental consideration going governing performance of the railway braking system summarized here. The fast propagation of the air along with the entire length trying length to ensure the uniform application of the brakes very uh, type, uh, rapid type the initial type filing of the cylinder brake blocks quickly brought into contact with the wheel throughout the process of deceleration. See a slower subsequent filing of the, up the cylinders to allow the gradual retardation of the wagon. A fast release break through the train length of the, all the trains can restart quickly and having come to the stop. Their air brake system claim the superior over existing vacuum, vacuum brake systems in the other spheres. However, the air brake system has a few comparative disadvantages as it follows. Long trains give sluggish response to the control of the driver. This time, the required for the compressed air to reach the last vehicle is considered well, if some of the reason of the train gets divided into two parts, the front portion of the train gets received the power to operate the air brakes, where the rear portion does not receive it, this can result in the accident. All right, 24-7 maintenance of the coach and wagon. The prescribed the economic lifespan of the coach and wagons is 30 to 40 years. Respectively, coach and wagons go through a periodically maintenance and ensure the um, order to ensure with a good working of the order of the early lifespan. As the stated earlier, the basic principle of the power under the preventive maintenance system is that the equipment should be paid the necessary attention so that there is no wear or tear. Consequently, deterioration wagons do not make um, prone to failure. Some of the other principles followed under the scheme of the plan and um, maintenance are outlined here. The implementation of the scheme should be simply as possible to involve the minimum maintenance Amount of paperwork, the maintenance schedule prepared with them every time that requires plan preventive maintenance. When schedule is executed, a brief description of the action taken with the type of the labor employed, the type of the time taken to be noted. Preventive maintenance applied with the coaches, wagons, and railways is classified under the following periodic overhauling of the workshop, scheduled maintenance, um, schedule and breakdown maintenance, carriage and weight, weight, wagon depots on sick, sick machine lines, running repairs on terminal yards. 2471 periodic overhauling in the workshop. Coaching stock is a provided overhaul workshop in prescribed intervals based on the type of service which for the frequency of periodic overhaul varies from 12 to 24 months. Such an overhaul consists of the lifting involved with the thorough examination of all the components and execution, such as the repairs not being necessary to ensure able the vehicle to remain in service of the next periodic overhaul of the prescribed interval with the periodic overhaul in good stock presented in 249. Periodic overhaul goods, box and wagons, 4.5 to 4 years. Um, Brake wagons four years to four one year um, intervals. Container one point five inter interval a year post um, one point five year one department stock four and four. Other other wagons four and three point five. 472 schedule maintenance. Maintenance is a different type of the rolling stock of the approved with the schedule that described below coaching stock. Between the consecutive overalls of the coach of the service with the coaching depot with the basic schedule name, known intermediate filling with them, no more done within six months of the day of the period overhaul, the periodic overhaul lifting during the process lifting trolley, the underframe numbers, members body with the floor of the coaches, add thoroughly examined necessary repairs and replacement component with the running of the gains. Ears are carried outside, buried century pivot oil with the replenish. Similarly, the, similarly, the coaching stock fitted the plain bearing axle box distinguished with the rolling bearing axle undergoing the process of the repacking generally periodic as followed mail express trains uh, coaches two months passenger trains coaches three to four months or other coaches four to six months Good stock. All axle box will, will, will with bearings are entitled to the good stock periodically repacked for maintenance of the depots according to the prescribed schedule. In addition to the axle box packed with the wagon lifted off the wheels, roll bearing axle boxes attended to workshop during the overall maintenance. 
All right, coaching and good stock. If you schedule the common to both coaching and good stock, the more, for some of the important more maintenance work of the gun with the compliance with these schedules over the volume. Vacuum brakes on the vacuum brake fitted with the, the stock must be overhauled in intervals of 18 months from the case of the coaching stock, 18 to 24 months from the case of good stock. Normally, there's a separating section vacuum cylinder overhauling maintenance depot. Axle boxes, axle box plane bearings, the coaching and good stock are oiled periodically. The coaching stock of the oil on the passenger is oiled every 15 days. Good stock Permanently stripped the face place must be lubricated within 20 225 grams of oil per axle intervals with one month either maintenance departments of the original temperature. Yard. There are many other scheduled maintenance working as such an alarm chain, apparatus tank, testing tank, wagon valve testing, water tank painting, and which, etc., which are implemented in the maintenance depot from prescribed frequencies. All right, 2473 breakdown maintenance. The maintenance depend depot is intended for all the breakdown failure for the rolling of the stock. Breakdowns are unusual incidents resulting in either human failure or due to the failure of the equipment. Some of these breakdowns are even resolved the accidents. The most common failure with the coach wagon in which one occurs as the result of the axle box heating over the course of run, purple, popularly known as the hot box. Every journal, the part of the axle extends the bearing the weight over the wheels. They um, become the hot during the running of the train, thereby necessitation detaching the coach and wagon the train before it can be reached. Um, be booked in destination considering hot box. There are many other kinds of breakdowns which may must be attended to in a maintenance depot to ensure safety of the wagon. Cracked wheel to tire, tire, tire expanded um, axle guard, bent sole bar, dead belt from leaking, water tank, water def wheel defects, etc. 2474 with running maintenance of the terminal yards. Rolling stack they move the move most um, move most of the time, but the major schedule is maintenance of the overall and do only um, one do with the call for the temporary mobilization stack with the normal maintenance of the stack of the due to the course of the service of the terminal yards. Maintenance mainly involved the examination inspection with the coach and wagon. The trains are carried out in two stages. Stage one, an approach to the terminal yard where the train is still in motion. Stage two, the terminal yard where the terrain normally stops. The first stage of the inspection helps with discovering those defects under the under gear, with the indicating the unusual sounds of the disjoint of the broken hanging hang, hanging components. For example, the flight tire flat tire indicates the heavy thundering of the, of the train and passing over the rail. The second stage, each of the coach thoroughly examined all the defects, both exterior and interior, of the recorded rectification. Coaches or wagons found the defects that can be attended only in maintenance depots or among for the handling over the remain coaches. The wagons are intended to terminal wash lines from the, on the yard itself. 24 8 desire uh, designing feature of the modern coach on the good side. The introduction of high speed train the Indian railways has a necessity to come with the chain with the design of the rolling stock. Important design of the feature of the, during the modern coach of the good wagons are described in the following sections. The need for the increased number of the passengers is an everyday coach along with the provide with the good comfort that include introducing and having more co coaches in every train running range with the progressively increasing speed and necessity modernization rolling stock. The coaches manufactured by the Integral Coach Factory Chain and Shannon are later, 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 latest design modern coach that may be lightweight made of metal and have the tubular structure. The trough of the underfloor of the side of the roof, the weld it together to in, um, form an integral unit of the floor consists of the cross beam specially designed heads and socks and sole bars. Etc. All over the which were welded together, sealed them through the flooring run with under the cross beams welded to the headstock and the sole bars. Vantage through the trough section with sand graded with longitudinal loads. They're still helping the kitchen, keeping the check of the weight of the coach. The curved body of the coach resides with wind, wind, wind resistance, helps stability, and but they're also accessible to design and absorb high beam pack shocks. Further, the end of the underflooring of the design collapsible, though that the case for the accident is absorbed the maximum force of the impact. Tubular structure and structure ensure that the catch does not um, collapse inward to ensure the maximum passenger safety area. against heavy impacts. The ICF codes, um, coaches are then called anti telescopic coaches. Like the coach body, but the rest of the ICF bogies is also welded lightweight, designed with 9 foot 6 inches rigid wheelbase running on the wall, roller bearings mounted on the pendulum type of the axle box. The axle box guide with the fitted with the dash pods for the absorbing effect of lateral bumps. Lateral shocks absorb the front front and absorb the lateral shock. The fitting of the cold springs designed the bogies to ensure that they provide very smooth slide. All right, 2482, good sock. Um, the be it box type of the open wagon, the most significant of all the new wagons. It has a tear of the weight of the 25 tons, the hauling capacity of the 55 tons. It has a robust structure fitted with the center of the buffer couplers at the end of the provider with the automatic coupling. It runs two bogies fitted with the roller bailing axle. The wagons are mostly for the long black rakes, consisting of between 35 to 45 box, box wagons per train, carrying bulk committee with the high speed. The coverings version of the type of the, of the wagon, the BCX weight wagon, measures 14. 
13.5 meters length and 3 millimeters in width, about 2.5 meters in height, and, so, and from the inside with a hauling capacity of 52 to 78 tons. It was a two income flap doors on each side of the, of the provided with the center floor, but for couplers, the effort um, behind the design of the wind wagons have been just directed towards the increasing of their size. Average overhaul haulage capacity of the wagon provided with increased bid. To observe the growth traffic as possible without increasing the line capacity with the costly terms of both money and time. Or there are three types of traction motors in Indian railways, namely steam traction, diesel traction, electrical traction, steam traction. Gradually, have been replaced with diesel electrical traction. Electric traction has been invented for the diesel and steam the traction that is possible, most suitable with the high speed and super high speed tracks. Locomotive coaches and wagons are three components of the rolling stock. Rolling stock is a modern track, but the Indian railways are designed to manufacture an integral coach factory. Shania. Um, special attention is paid with the maintenance of these coaches, which have been modified to suit the growing of the needs for the railway. Chapter 25, Train Resistance and Tractive Power.